Hello, welcome to another Mail Day video. This is a very special one. I have a package from the US of A, from the United States of America. And the thing that I love about packages, receiving mail from America, is that you can just grab them right by the package, wherever you want. And this is a very special one, as I said, uh, from a good friend of mine, Charles, or CP, rather. If you know him as CP, will I like your reviews on YouTube? Now, this package took a long time to get here, and I think I now know why. Yeah, unfortunately the packing of your item has been damaged. The damage has now been repaired. So this kind of was in Oslo about a week ago and was damaged. So we're going to open it up and see what the damage is, literally. Uh, but I was thinking this might have been something else, maybe from Amazon Italy. But it turned out to be the, the CP package that I've been waiting for. So without any further ado, let's get right into it and open this thing up. Okay, I have entry to the box, and uh, you can see some bubble wrap in there, so let's just cautiously have a look and see uh, how they have survived. Okay. Alright, I've taken everything out of the package, and nothing's damaged, although CP, being the fiend that he is, didn't put bubble wrap in uh, just on top of everything. So uh, some of the, <laughs> the cellophane is hanging off the Blu-rays, but... They're in, they're, in, they're in good shape, they're in good shape. And that was the reason that uh, I got CP to help me out with some of these titles, because they're Criterion titles, which you may have guessed from the thumbnail of the video. The Barnes & Noble sale was back on again, I think it's finished now already. It feels like it was only a couple months since I did the last Barnes & Noble 50% off haul, but I guess that's because it took months for all those things to arrive eventually. But he was in Barnes & Noble and he sent me a message and said, is there anything that you, uh, you're looking for? And seeing as I don't like to order, uh, overseas with digipacks from Criterion because they're very easily damaged and uh, you know Criterion are not the best with no, Criterion uh, Amazon and, and Barnes and & Noble are not the best with packaging some of their blu-rays so yeah he uh, very kindly agreed to help me out with some of these uh, films and to uh, to send them over and uh, I'm really happy to talk about them and to add them into my collection so the first one and they're all from the same director so I'm gonna move chronologically and once you've seen the first one, if you're well-versed in the Criterion Library, you'll probably know where this is going and what the three films I'm about to show you are. The first one is David Lynch's Eraserhead. Uh, this is just a gorgeous edition, you know, nice digipack, um, feels really weighty. There's got to be some sort of booklet in there. Yeah, booklet with an interview from Lynch uh, from 1997, from the book Lynch on Lynch. And this film is is all kinds of fucked up. Uh, I, I think I appreciate this film more than I enjoy it. Uh, it. It's just it's really dark, like literally black and white. You know, this we follow this character who lives on this like industrial estate. It's just like a, this film is a nightmare. Basically, it's uncomfortable. The sound design, the clanking of pipes, and all these little bits and pieces that, that Lynch put into the sound design. I mean, that's a character uh, all of its own in the film, I think. And it's about this guy, who we see on the cover here, who's trying to raise his child. Uh, the mother is, is, you know, she isn't interested in raising it, and so he's left alone with this child that isn't decidedly human entirely. It's a fucked up film. It really is. And I'm intrigued to go back to it again now that I've become a huge Twin Peaks fan this year, because the lead star of this, uh, Jack Nance, uh, most Twin Peaks fans will know as Pete Martell, who I love in Twin Peaks, he's awesome. So going back to this film after Twin Peaks will be like, oh, it's it's young Pete, you know. So I'm looking forward to that aspect of returning to this film. But uh, yeah, really nice addition from Criterion. Uh, but the thing that really uh, drew me to this release after I first watched A Razorhead and I looked up what kind of Blu-ray was out there on this, not only is there a 4K digital restoration, but there's a 2001 documentary called Eraserhead Stories that David Lynch put together himself. There's um, six short films that David Lynch did before this that are restored in 2K. Um, well, sourced in 2K, obviously Blu-ray can only achieve 1080p, but you know, the original source restoration was done in 2K. Uh, six of his short films, uh, Six Men Getting Sick from 1967, The Alphabet from 1968, The Grandmother from 1970, The Amputee Version 1 and Version 2 from 1974, and Premonitions Following an Evil Deed, which is from 1995, actually. So this is really... And they all have video introductions by David Lynch. So this is like the, the perfect kind of David Lynch, the early David Lynch primer package, basically. That's what really excites me about this. It's not just a razor head, uh, which you get, you know, these um, a booklet about and a documentary about, but you get the, uh, the context of the other stuff he was doing in the early part of his career. And, you know, I kind of almost feel like I'm a David Lynch veteran at this point. I've watched 
all of Twin Peaks twice this year, including the new season. Um, but really, I'm, I'm just scratching the surface. Uh, even though I've seen this film before, there's a lot of stuff I need to get into. I'm a big fan of his style and his approach. Even if I don't love everything he does, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, some new interviews with um, Catherine Coulson, who is assistant to the director. That's a shame. She passed away uh, last year, I believe, but um, got to do, uh, do Twin Peaks one more time. So that's cool that she's... Uh, I think that she was involved in this film somehow. I think she was actually uh, married to Jack Nance at one point or engaged to him. Anyway... So there we have a razor head, which has arrived relatively unscathed. We'll give it the um, uh, the Dennis from the blue corner kind of. Sadly, it does appear to have a few scratches. Oh well. So yep. Yeah. And the next film is, of course, the brand new release. Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Uh, I got a lot to say about this one. Uh, when he was at Barnes & Noble, he said, uh, you know, anything in particular? I said, well, if you've got the, the new Twin Peaks in, uh, grab me a copy of that. And he sent me a picture, and they had like 7,000 copies, I think. More like seven, but, you know, they had a lot of the, <laughs> of the, the Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me Blu-ray in stock. So he grabbed one that was in uh, decent condition. And again, nice digipack release. I love the cover. A lot of people have been moaning about the cover. I think it's great. You've got the red room there. You've got Laura Palmer. The burning locket. Very symbolic. And this film is just... Whew, this is a, a deep, dark film. This film will make anyone uncomfortable. Um, if you can watch this without feeling uncomfortable, then... Uh, alarm bells. <laughs> this follows the, the seven days preceding the beginning of the Twin Peaks uh, TV series which is about the death of Laura Palmer. The movie Fire Walk With Me deals with the last seven days of Laura Palmer's life, so we get to kind of see Cheryl Lee play Laura Palmer in full in this movie, and, uh, you know, it, it's a film with an end that you know is going to, you know, it's, it's, it's going to all end in, uh, in murder, basically. She's going to die at the end of the film. So, but it's, I love how David Lynch put this together, and uh, anyway, I've got a whole video where I talked about this when I first watched it months ago. I still need to get to editing that, but again, I said I had a lot to say about this because this is included in the Complete Mystery box set, which I have. Someone said to me, I think it was Stiff Kittens, Alex, who said, Why would you want to get the Criterion if you've already got the film in the Complete Mystery box set? And he's right. He's completely right. <laughs> There's no difference. It has the same 4K restoration. Um, you know, supervised by David Lynch, it has the the 90 minute deleted scene movie, um, The Missing Pieces, which puts together all the like Twin Peaks characters who were in the show and were going to be in the movie but got deleted, like Ed and Norma, uh, all these different characters who never made it to the film, they get put back in The Missing Pieces, though it's presented as its own kind of mini movie as opposed to being uh, put back into the, the full movie. We get more of David Bowie's character, Philip Jeffries, which is kind of integral to the new series that came out this year. So the missing pieces is really interesting, but the only thing this has different from the complete mystery box set, which is the box set that includes all of the TV series and the movie, is it has two new interviews with um, uh, Angelo Badalamente, who does the music for all Twin Peaks, and Cheryl Lee, who plays Laura Palmer. So I'm 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 on board for those new interviews, but <laughs> Filmstruck just put up the complete Criterion edition of this on their streaming service, so I could watch those interviews for free. So, yeah, but one thing that's cool is that with the Complete Mystery box set, there's like, it's like stacked discs. So the Fire Walk of Me is right at the bottom, and you have to kind of peel everything back, and it takes a while to get to the disc. So, saving seven seconds of my life, 20 bucks. But seriously, I love the film. Big fan of Twin Peaks, and uh, I, I just love the idea of owning it in a Criterion edition like this. I think it's a film that's worthy of being in the Criterion collection. And, uh, yeah, so... I've already talked about what special features it has, pretty much the, the missing pieces, uh, the 2014 interview with David Lynch and the Laura, uh, the Palmer family, although it doesn't include the complete version, which you see on the, the box set, which is a bit more interesting, where they start in character, and then they move into the real interview. It's really fucking intense and weird, which is appropriate for David Lynch. And we have excerpts from the Lynch on Lynch book, which seems to be spread over these Criterion editions, so, yeah. Really, really happy to have this and add this to the, the David Lynch collection. And you'll probably know exactly uh, what the next title is. And again, the, the cellophane's kind of hanging off this one for some reason. I don't know what the damage was to the box uh, in transit, but uh, there we go. It is from 2001, I believe. Yes, Mulholland Drive. When I first got into Twin Peaks, people kept saying Mulholland Drive, Mulholland Drive. you got to check out Mulholland Drive. 
I reviewed a razor head. You gotta check out Mulholland Drive. Okay, I get it, Mulholland Drive. I'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> Let's go check out Mulholland Drive. But I needed to get the, the Criterion first. I really wanted it. Again, knew that it was this, this Digipack edition. So I didn't want to just order it uh, willy-nilly off the internet and kind of uh, uh, get it delivered um, from a friend who could um, ensure it's, its safe passage over the Atlantic. But this one is, uh, I guess, one of his last films, I think. He did this one, Inland Empire, I think later on in the 2000s. But, uh, I mean, there's a lot of Lynch films I haven't seen. There's Blue Velvet, Lost Highway, this one, Inland Empire. I've seen Dune when I was a kid, and also uh, Elephant Man, although people don't really class those as particularly Lynchian, from what I understand, at least Dune, which is kind of his big studio movie that no one likes to really talk about. Um, but this one is probably the, the, the big one that I need to see, I think. Uh, we got Naomi Watts, who was phenomenal in uh, the new series of Twin Peaks. There's Janie E. I just loved her in that series. Uh, so looking forward to seeing more Naomi Watts as directed by David Lynch. I don't know what special features we got here. 4K digital transfer, supervised by David Lynch. New interviews with David Lynch, uh, the actors of the film, the composer, Angelo Badalamenti. He does the music, didn't know that. Uh, On-set footage, deleted scene, a trailer. And uh, more from the Lynch on Lynch book, which probably has is, is been completely divvied out amongst all these Criterion Collection editions. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think this is in the book as well, A Thousand More Movies You Must See Before You Die. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, diving into it. So I could open these up and show you the artwork, and I'm looking forward to that myself, and I'm sure there's lots of cool kind of insights when you fold it out and everything. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it for now. And also, uh, CP very kindly added in, as you might have heard, rustling about in the package when I was about to open it. Uh, two packs of sweets. Uh, he knows of my uh, great cinnamon candy addi ed addition? addiction. I'll leave that one in for free. And so I requested a couple of these, and we got uh, Red Hots, which aren't my favorite. Not that great. But they are actually really nice. I do like these a lot, but uh, certainly on the lower end of my um, cinnamon addiction. But uh, these are the these are the, the big ones, and they, they used to do these in the in the city here, uh, in this specialized candy shop, and there was hardly anyone ever in there, so it's no surprise it went completely out of business and is now no longer existent. So I got myself a box of hot tamales, which I adore. I have great memories of eating these while reading the Walking Dead comics uh, in Atlanta <laughs> uh, years ago. So. Hot tamales. Thank you very much for including the candy, man. I uh, appreciate that. And thank you for the the hookup, the OK hookup. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's always always fun to get a um, uh, Criterion package. Um, yeah, I think that's the word I would use. Fun, and uh, I'm looking forward mostly, I think, to checking out Mulholland Drive because never tried it before. Um, so <laughs> enough of the end jokes that no one's going to get. Uh, thank you again, CP, and you're awesome, and I appreciate again the okay hookup and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Let me know your thoughts down below on any of the David Lynch films uh, that I've shown. Oh, they feel, they feel quite heavy when you pick them all up together. Um, you got to love a, a substantial weighty Criterion release I have to say. So there we have them. Really really cool, we'll look nice on the shelf in a dedicated Lynch section along with the, the Twin Peaks Complete Mystery box set and also the brand new uh, Twin Peaks Season 3 box set which is coming out and getting that for Christmas. So it's a very Lynchian uh, Christmas for me for sure, so there we go. Just pull my fingers over it, and yeah, they're not steel books, they're, 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 they're not that special, but you know, they're, they're still pretty cool. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Apart from the fact he throws cans and call it into a tree, yeah, he's really cool, yeah, he's really cool. Not quite as cool as you, cause... <laughs>